Hello and welcome to Daily Prelims Practice. Here we will take up MCQs based on important news and article that have featured in the Hindu and the Indian Express newspaper. Topics for today's discussion are displayed on your screen. Let's begin the discussion. Inspiration for our first question comes from this news which featured in the Hindu newspaper page number 4. As we know that on January 6, the top court, that is Supreme Court, transferred to itself petitions pending in various high courts seeking legal recognition of same-sex marriage. Now Delhi High Court has sent a batch of petitions seeking recognition of same-sex marriage under various laws to the Supreme Court. Now, UPSC has been asking question based on jurisdiction of Supreme Court and High Court. As in 2019, it has asked a question about functioning and power of High Court and Supreme Court of India. So, let's take up today's practice MCQ. Question says, with reference to appeal by special leave, consider the following statements. Statement 1 says, this power is discretionary and cannot be claimed as matter of right. While second statement says, the Supreme Court is authorized to grant special leave to appeal from any judgment in any matter passed by any court or tribunal in the country. You have to identify the correct statement. Now, if you will look into Article 136 sub clause 1, it says that Supreme Court in its discretion grant special leave to appeal from any judgment, decree, determination, sentence or order in any cause or matter passed or made by any court or tribunal in the territory of India. While sub clause 2 says there is an exception that Supreme Court cannot exercise its power under special leave when the judgment is passed or made by any court or tribunal constituted by or under any law relating to the armed forces. So as you have seen that it is a discretionary power and cannot be claimed as a matter of right, statement 1 is correct. While second statement is incorrect as you have seen that Supreme Court cannot exercise this power in case of military tribunal and court martial. So as you had to find the correct statement, our answer would be A that is 1 only. Now answer for this PYQ is D that is neither 1 nor 2. Our next question is based on this article which featured on page number 8 of the Hindu newspaper. Article talks about how millets that is coarse grains are important and vital for food security in India. It also sheds light on the challenges in raising the production and consumption of millets in India. Now UPSC has been asking question based on millet production and various schemes related to its promotion. As in 2018, it has asked a question based on initiative for nutritional security through intensive millets promotion. Now let's take up today's MCQ. Question says consider the following statements. Statement 1 says millets production in India has doubled in the last decade. Statement 2 says maize production in India contributes about half of the total nutri or coarse cereal. Statement 3 says India's major millets include sorghum, pearl millet and finger millet. You have to identify the correct statements. Now the term which is used in India is coarse grain. Under this, there are two categories that is millet and maize. Now there is further subcategorization under millets that is minor and major millets. Now the total production in 2007-2008 was around 40 million ton which increased to 51 million tons in 2020-2021 that is just 25% of increase. So statement 1 is incorrect. Here keep this fact in mind that millet do not include maize crops. Now under coarse grain crop, maize contributes more than 60% of total production. So statement 2 is correct. Now as you have seen, two group of millets are grown in India that is major and minor. Major millets include sogham, pearl millet, finger millet, while minor millet include foxtail, little millet, kodo, proso and barnyard millet. So our third statement is also correct. So as you had to find the correct statement, our answer would be B that is 2 and 3 only. Answer for this PYQ is C. Inspiration for our next question comes from this article which featured on the Hindu newspaper page number 9. In this article, author has argued that in Padma Awards, plant breeders should be rewarded under a separate category that is agriculture and seeds and not under the category of science and engineering. 
Now in the year 2021, UPSC has asked question based on Bharat Ratn and Padma Awards. So on a similar line, we have taken up today's practice MCQ. Question says, Constitution prohibits a citizen of India from accepting any title from any foreign state. Now this statement is correct. Sub clause 2 prohibits a citizen of India from accepting any title from foreign state. Statement 2 says national awards like Bharat Ratna and Padma should not be used as suffix or prefixes to the names of awardees. Now this statement is also correct. As in 1996, Supreme Court upheld the constitutional validity of the national awards that is Bharat Ratna, Padma Vibhushan, etc. It ruled that these awards do not amount to titles within the meaning of Article 18 However, it also ruled that they should not be used as suffix or prefixes to the names of awardees, otherwise they should forfeit the award. So as you had to find the correct statements, our answer would be C, that is both 1 and 2. Answer for this PYQ is D, that is 1, 2 and 3. Our next question is based on this news which featured on page number 6 of the Hindu newspaper. News talks about an exotic invasive plant that is Sena spectabilis which is posing a severe threat to the Kerala's wildlife habitat. Now previously UPSC has asked question based on invasive species which are featuring in news. As in 2018 it has asked question based on Prosopis juliflora. Let's take up today's practice MCQ. Question says consider the following statements regarding invasive species. Statement 1 says these may be native or exotic species that significantly modify the ecosystem they inhibit. Now this statement is incorrect as invasive alien species are exotic species or any non-native species of animals, plants or other organisms that are introduced by humans either intentionally or accidentally into places outside of their natural range. They negatively impact native biodiversity, ecosystem services and cause economic harm to the people dependent on the ecosystem's biological resources. Now statement 2 says exotic pet trade is one of the primary causes of the spread of invasive species. Now this statement is correct. Now third statement says a person or organization can be held accountable for unintended impacts caused by invasive species once they escape human control. Now this statement is incorrect. As to date no legal framework exists to hold any person or organization accountable for unintended impacts caused by these species once they escape human control. So as you had to find the correct statements our answer would be B that is two only. Answer for this PYQ is B. Our next question is based on this news which featured in the Hindu newspaper page number 15. News is about US Secretary of State Antony Blinken appealing to Israel and Palestinians for peace as violence source in West Bank. Now UPSC has asked several questions based on important places in news as in 2015 it has asked a question based on Golan Heights. So let's take up today's practice MCQ. Question is what is the correct sequence of the following region in Western Asia as one proceeds from south to north. Options are Gulf of Aqaba, Golan Heights, West Bank and Negev Desert. Now referring to map you can see that while proceeding from south to north you will find Gulf of Aqaba first. It is a large gulf at the northern tip of the Red Sea, east of Sinai Peninsula and west of Arabian Peninsula. While Negev Desert is shaped like a triangle with apex at south. It is bounded by the Sinai Peninsula in west and Jordan Valley in east. Next comes the West Bank. It is a landlocked territory near the coast of the Mediterranean in Western Asia that forms the main bulk of Palestinian territories. It is bordered by Jordan and Dead Sea and by Israel to the south, west and north. While Golan Heights refers to the border region captured from Syria by Israel during the Six-Day Middle East War of 1967. It is bonded by the Jordan River and the Sea of Galilee on the west, Mount Hermon on the north. So the correct sequence would be Gulf of Aqaba first, then you will encounter Negev Desert, then the West Bank and then 
the Golan Heights. That is C1432. Answer for this PYQ is B that is Middle East. Inspiration for the last question of today's discussion comes from this news which featured in the Indian Express newspaper page number 6. After rechristening the name of Mughal Garden to Amrit Udyan, another Mughal Garden located in Delhi University has been renamed as Gautam Buddha Centenary Garden. Now we have taken a question based on Mughal architecture basically related to garden development. As UPSC has been asking question based on important development facts and events related to Mughal period, as in 2015, it has asked features of Babur regime in India. So let's take up today's practice question. Question says, consider the following statements regarding Mughal architecture. Statement 1 says, Charbagh style of garden architecture was introduced in India by Akbar. Now this statement is incorrect. As the Mughal gardens have a special place amidst the splendid buildings as these gardens transformed the landscape of various cities like Delhi, Agra, Kashmir and Lahore. The concept of planned garden also known as Charbagh was introduced in South Asia by Mughal Emperor Babur. While Akbar built several gardens, first in Delhi, then in Agra, Akbar's new capital, these tended to be riverfront gardens rather than the fortress gardens that his predecessors built. Now, statement 2 says, Humayu's tomb is the first garden tomb in the Indian subcontinent. Now, this statement is correct. Because this tomb, which is built in the year 1570, is of particular cultural significance as it was the first garden tomb on the Indian subcontinent. It inspired several major architectural innovations culminating in the construction of the Taj Mahal. It is an UNESCO World Heritage Site and a protected monument under Archaeological Survey of India. So as you had to find the correct statement, our answer would be B that is 2 only. Answer for this PYQ is B that is 3 only.